It's the gospel truth. It's the word of the Lord. Inspired by the Holy Spirit. It's a two-way sword. It's a road map to heaven. And it's heaven's good news. Thank God for the Bible. It's the gospel truth. It's time for the Gospel Truth with Dr. Scott Thomas of Temple, Georgia. For more information about the ministry and the music of Brother Scott, go each week to www.scottthomasministries.com. That's www.scottthomasministries.com. You can get more messages and music at the website. So be sure to go to www.scottthomasministries.com once every week. And now, here is Dr. Scott Thomas and the Gospel Truth. Shut 
the apostles of Christ. And no mortal for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. The devil will come along and make himself look real pretty to you. And make himself look like an angel of light. Oh, he's the sweetest and greatest thing that ever been. But he's a power in the sky trying to save your soul. Therefore, it is no great thing if his minister, talking about Satan's minister, also the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works. I say again, let no man think me a fool. Paul said, I'm not no fool. I know what's going on. I understand there are some folks that are deceitful. There are some folks that are nothing but other than devil. But boy, they put them a bit front. They act like they're right with God. They act like they're all holy and loud and all that sort of thing. Sometimes Satan comes disguised as a pretty girl, as a gorgeous woman, as a handsome boy, as a fine Christian, and some even come disguised as a great preacher. Pass on. 
snares are obvious. John 10, 27, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Now the thing is, if you know his voice, when he calls you, you better go run to his voice. Takes recognition. That's the first step to stay step away from the snare. Recognize, is this of God or is this of Satan? Is Satan trying to trap me or is this of the Lord? Are you under his wings, under the Lord's wings? Or are you out there in the middle of, 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 of being captured in that place of captivity? Recognition. Number two, step two, is refusal. Did you know you can say no to Satan? Did you know you can say no to Satan? Refuse Satan's temptations. Here's a great example of Joseph Jesus in Genesis 39, 7 and 8. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. And she said, Lie with me. Remember that story? Joseph was there. And, and, and this guy, he was working for his wife said, Come and lie.
deliver thyself as a robe, that's a deer, from the hand of the hunter. Listen to this next part, Proverbs 6 and 5. Deliver thyself as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Seems like the word of God has a lot to say about this fowler. It's got a lot to say about this fowler and how this fowler wants to snare you and catch you. But what did he say? He said, deliver thyself. Run! Do like Joseph did. Run away from it. Don't run into sin. Run away from sin. Run away from Satan. Get away from it. Run with everything that's in you. Every time the devil comes along and tries to tempt you and tries to pull you, you run from him. Resist him. Recognize what he's doing. And run from it. Get away from it. Amen. Run from the very appearance of evil. Amen. Amen. Run from it. So here we go. First thing, you must stay away. Second thing, you must step away. Third, last thing, you must soar above. You're a bird, you can soar, amen. Listen to this. God's provisions will help you soar. His provisions help you soar. Psalms 91 and 3 says, Surely, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. That's our text. You see, God provided you with something to soar. God provides you with the wings for you to soar in. What's the wings? The wings of a good Holy Spirit. And He'll help you to soar above all that. The wings is not on the spirit, it's salvation. Salvation will help you soar above Satan and sin and the power and all that. Amen. God provides the wings for you to soar. God provides the way for you to soar. God has a purpose for you. And if you'll find that purpose, you can soar above the power. His provisions help you to soar. His protection helps you to soar. Psalms 91 and 4, the second verse of our text. He shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckle. Get under his wings. Under the wings of God and you'll be protected. You can be protected from Satan, from sin, and from the snares. You just get under the wings of God. Where are the wings of the Lord? It's right here in this hall today. Call it on His name. Say, Lord, shield me, protect me. Put your wings around me and help me escape Satan, and sin, and snares. His protection helps you to soar. His provisions help you to soar. His promises help you to soar. That verse I just read to you, 94 and 4, under His wings, you can trust. This is what you can trust. His covering promises. If you run to the Lord, run from Satan, and run to the Lord, get under His wings, He'll spread His wings. He promised to cover you. And to shield you. His cradling promises he'll cradle you. His carrying promises he'll care for you. I'm going to give you an illustration. I'll be through. There's a farmer. He found this baby eagle. And it was hurt. So he nursed it back to health. And he got it fixed up. This little baby eagle. And after nursing it back to health, he put the eagle in a chicken coop. Soon that eagle did just as the chickens did. He ate chicken feed. He started behaving just like a chicken. Going around pecking at the ground. Acting just like a chicken, but he's an eagle. One day a forest ranger came by. And he noticed 
touched the eagle and he asked the farmer, he said, why is that great bird with so much potential acting like a chicken? The farmer told him the story. They took him and cared for him. The ranger knew the eagle was meant to fly. He said, that bird ain't meant to be in a chicken coop pecking at the crown. That big bird is meant to fly. Be a warrior. Be in his glory. So, that, he said, he wasn't meant to do all that. He was meant to fly. So the ranger took the eagle and put him on his arm, held him up to the sky and said, it's time to fly. You can fly. What that old eagle did, he just fell off and to the ground. Started going around like a chicken again. So the, angel, uh, the ranger said, well, I'll try it again. This time he got on the rooftop and farm. He tried to get the thing to fly. What he did? He went off on the roof, made his way to the ground, stood out like a climbing chicken. Just wouldn't fly. Finally, the ranger said, let me take this eagle and see what I can do with him. Took it to the big old mountain. He went out there in the mountain, the big old mountain, got on top of that mountain. And he lifted that eagle up toward the sky. And he said, You're meant for the sky. You're not meant for the earth. You need to fly. Just about then, another eagle was flying above them, the farmer's eagle. Noticed the flying eagle flying there back. Looked at it, noticed it looked like him, and it was flying and all these things. And soon that eagle, he just took flight and left that ranger's arm and began to fly with that bird. Flying around. I want to say this morning, you too can fly and soar the you don't have to be in the chicken coop for the chickens. Live in my family. But you can soar the hood off. Because God made you an eagle. When He saves you, He makes you as an eagle. Amen. You can soar like an eagle above the foulest snare. I got a shirt at the house. Me and Kevin got one that says, Be an eagle, not a chicken. Amen. Be an eagle, not a chicken. So you can get out of the chicken coop today. You caged in by Satan, caged in, thinking you're nothing, thinking that I tell you today, the Lord will save your soul, bring you out of the chicken coop, you can fly, yeah. amen, and soar like an eagle. Because that's what God's made you to do, amen. You've been listening to The Gospel Truth with Dr. Scott Thomas of Temple, Georgia. To order this message or to contact Brother Scott, go to www.scottthomasministries.com. That's www.scottthomasministries.com. Be sure to come back next week for more Bible preaching and The Gospel Truth. Yes, I love my Bible, because it's The Gospel Truth.